Today, I'm going to show you how to print out any image from the internet on normal printer paper and transfer it to fabric. I will warn you right away that what we make will not last if you try to wash it, otherwise it is permanent. All we need for this project is an iron, a piece of fabric, in this case we're using a blank bandana, some scissors, plastic wrap, parchment paper, and some printed images. Uh, you can use your own designs or designs you find on the internet if you have your own printer. First step will be to cut off the parts of the image or border that we don't want to transfer. After we do that, we'll wrap the image in some plastic wrap. The more you wrap it, the longer it'll last. You don't have to worry about wrinkles or anything, just make sure that it can lay flat. So in total, I would say this is about three layers of plastic wrap on each side. Now we'll put the bandana down on a flat surface. The best surface would be an ironing board, uh, and we're going to turn our iron up to high heat. Put the piece of parchment paper on top. Make sure the image is as flat as it can be. Push down with the iron and start moving around in circular motions. You do want to put a good amount of pressure on this, and we're going to do this for about 30 seconds. After about 30 seconds, you should see the image pretty clearly through here. So we can peel off the parchment paper. There we go. If you happen to notice any edges uh, coming up or anything, or if it doesn't seem completely stuck on there, you can just repeat the last step, put the parchment paper on, heat it again. Uh, when you do peel off the parchment paper, just be a little careful to like not pull off the image. And just in case, even if you feel like it, you can do another layer of ironing just to really make sure it's in there. All that's happening is that the saran wrap is getting melted and it's melting into the fabric and melting on top of the printed image. Like I said, this is not completely permanent if you try to wash it, but otherwise it's stuck on there. So here is our final product uh, with a few images transferred onto here. You can do as many as you like. Feel free to show us what you made by tagging us online at CLP Teen Space. Thank you for checking out this video and doing the activity. We're glad to see that the teens are still engaging with our programming and we're excited to keep bringing more grab and go kits to you. Thank you.